Yeah, I made it down here, man. So, Carmen in the building. What's going on with you, little lady? How you feel? I feel pretty good. Getting ready to catch a flight out of here in a few hours. All right. Get to the west side. All right, all right. So your 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 phone tag says Georgia. That's that's where you actually from? I I am. Yes, Atlanta. Born and raised. Born and raised. And look, you know, a lot lot of people trying to trying to hurry up and come down to Georgia, man. I'm I'm telling you, I'm not trying to not trying to mess with uh Georgia. <laughs> Why not? Uh, mm-mm, man, too too much too much that traffic. Yeah. That traffic, yes. That, yes. that traffic, and then you got to make sure that the female that you're messing with is an actual female. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah, it's a lot of that. So, yeah, man. All right, so, Carmen, man, tell us uh, uh, a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm Carmen with Carmen Swinging Crew. I've um, been in business for, like, four years. Um 2018, I think it was, when I got started. It's coming up on the fourth year next month. Um, I got started when I'm contract with Transport America. I don't know if you ever heard of them. Okay. Um, so, wait, 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 wait. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait oh. a minute now. Wait. So, you have your CDL? No, no, no. No, I just detailed a truck for them. Huh? I detailed it and cleaned the truck for them. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So you, uh, okay, so, all right, so continue, continue, my my bad. Yeah, I have a cleaning service, and I clean for um, that particular terminal. Um, And I got into the pressure washing of them. I do pressure wash the outside of the trucks and clean and detail the inside. Not quite the trailer yet, um, but I'm getting around to doing that as well, and I do commercial buildings also. Okay, okay, so, so your little, it's not so little, because you know you got sounds like you got like uh, major contracts with with uh, major trucking companies, but what? Well, let's start let's start from the beginning. Like, so what you was what you was doing before you actually got you know got into you know cleaning semis and stuff like that? What 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 you I was doing to, beforehand? I was in the medical field. I used to work for an eye doctor for over ten years. Man. Um, that was my it. That's all I did was medical, um, either in the hospital or in a doctor's office. Okay. And I got laid off and um, went and got my uh, business license and started doing this. All right. So was it was it because of the pandemic you got laid off or you just got laid off because of something? I just got laid off. It was way before the pandemic even got started. This was like in 2018. Yeah, yeah. It was before the pandemic got started. Man, but you've been in the biz you 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 you've been in the business of the medical field for over ten years. What medical yeah. field? You guys get laid off in the medical field? Yeah, you can. You can. You sure can get laid off. Wait, wait, wait. And uh, you know, what's going on in that particular doctor's office, you know, they downsize and different things like that. What? In the medical yeah. field? Yeah. You you would think that we need medical professions. You you wouldn't think that would be uh a laid off type of of industry, right? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you yeah, you would think not, but you can. All right. So you so you was so you was mainly like what, the eye doctor? So what was your what was your position? What was your position there? I was a tech. I was a tech for the eye doctor. So I was like my sister to the eye doctor. Oh, okay. So you was the one that put the you was the one that would put the glasses together within an hour? No, <laughs> I'm the one that actually was in the room with the doctor and giving you the eye drops or oh. letting you read the, the chart and stuff like that. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you would be the, I thought you would be the one that actually put the glasses together because I always wonder how, how would you guys get it from the prescription, which is on paper, and actually acute it to the glasses themselves? Like, right. I mean, I. I, yeah, I a- I would be I, I would be interested in that, like you know, like how do y'all do that? Then y'all bring me my <laughs> y'all bring me my glasses, and they'd be like, "Oh, okay, I could see." <laughs> like, oh. yeah, they get the prescription, they get the prescription, they send it off, and there's a lab that actually makes those lenses and send them back, and, and you place them into the frame of the glass. 
Well, what happened to the what what happened to the days of getting them in an hour? That's what I was so used to, y'all. Look, y'all spoiled me, man. I mean, it's like every it's like every eye doctor I go to now. Like, yo, yo, we got to send it out to a lab, bro, and it's gonna take about a couple of weeks to come back. No, wait, wait. Yeah. I, I, I thought y'all used to do it in an hour. Like, what the what the yeah. fuck? What I don't happened? I don't know what happened to that. I don't know what happened to that. I mean, not Pearl, sure, but. Pearl Vision. Pearl Vision dropped out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Pearl Lens Vision. Crafters. Lens Crafters. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I was so spoiled. Like, all my glasses, mm-hmm. like, you know, throughout my years of getting my glasses, is uh, y'all y'all spoiled me because it's like I would get, yeah. them, I would get them right there in an the hour. Like, damn. Mm-hmm. Damn. I think maybe a couple people out there still may do it because they may have an in-house lab or something like that, but. Okay. If not, they gotta ship it out. Yeah. So, so you unfortunately got laid off. Was you laid mm-hmm. off with like a severance a severance package because you you've been in it you you've been in it for like what ten years like you said. So did you you get a severance severance package no. or they just they just kick mm-hmm. you to the curve like a stepchild? Like stepchild, pretty much like a stepchild. I had to. Pull my straps up and figure out what I was gonna do. So, man, it's it's crazy. That's what I did. It's, it's, it's crazy out here. It's crazy. My mom's yeah. been in a. My mom's been in a. You know, she she been working all her life, and you know, she worked for this company called Parker and Hannifin, and she put in damn near thirty. Yeah, damn near thirty, but. Uh, I don't know, politics came into play and everybody, you know, everybody that was working at the one plant, including my mom's, you know, got a severance package. And I was like, well, they could have just transferred to transfer her to another facility to let her, you know, rock out the last couple of years of her, you know, for her retirement. And I'm like, right. You know, and then my mom, she got, you know, she, she got like, uh, discouraged, uh, depressed, and yeah, yeah, that that little that that little time right there was a little bit dark for us. <laughs> but yeah, but she's yeah. but she's cool now, you know, and everything. But I'm just saying, like, you know, for companies, you know, I mean, in school, like we we was we was bred to go get a degree. And go mm-hmm. work for this company and and this, that, and the third, and you know, without even knowing what the future holds. Right. You know? So but you uh you you didn't let that stop you. You you uh I didn't. I had a little dark time now. I did have a little dark time, but um I had some support and my support was like you need to get up and, you know, get it together and say everything. I'm ahead of you, and you need to roll with it, and that's what I did. Let me get my business license and present it myself, and kept it moving. All right, so you came up into the She Trucking Trucking Group, and shout out to the She Trucking Trucking Group, by the way. And you was pretty much uh, advertising your business of uh, yeah of cleaning of cleaning semis and stuff like that. Where did where did the thought? of cleaning a semi come from? Like, I mean, I can understand you probably had, like, you started off, like, detailing cars and all like that. What, you just thought that you you could make well, more? Well, my, my, my fiancé wanted me, he, he's a diesel mechanic mm-hmm. and for a, a trucking company. And I guess they had some people that it wasn't, you know, doing what they wanted them to do. So he was like, you know, you're a clean person. You clean all the time. Why don't you just come over here and, you know, do that? And he talked to some people for me and one thing led to another, and here we go. Okay, that's what's up. So, mm-hmm. so detail, so detailing trucks, like, uh, and some of these trucks do need to be detailed. After some people, man, oh, they, man, you, man, come yes. on, oh my god, I mean, oh my god, I, some, so, I mean, some of these guys, I mean, I understand, I understand that this is your home, man, but I, I seen, mm-hmm. I seen some atrocious trucks, man. I have. I have to. I have to. What? Very atrocious. Give get, give me a give me a particular scenario of of a truck that you came into and you just you you had to put on a hazmat suit. I did literally. That's crazy that you said that. I literally left 
this terminal and went to Walmart and got an asthma. No right. lie. You kidding? No I'm cap? I'm dead serious. Yes. Oh, my no God. I, I was just saying that. And come on. They were telling me, they were telling me, yo, it's bad, it's bad, it's bad. I'm like, ain't nothing to be that bad, man. Mm-hmm. So, unfortunately, the driver had a condition, a condition where he, you know, yeah, he, he needed to wear diapers and things, and, and he urinated in the in, inside the truck constantly to the point they had to rip all the floors out, all the seats out, I had to clean the, I mean, it, it went on and I mean, it, it went on to, it, to the stench just would, just would not leave. <sighs> I mean, we had to clean it down to the bare metal. I mean, what he, and then they had to replace the hat. I mean, what he, he left his dirty diapers in No, the he would just sit in the, he wouldn't wear diapers. He would just sit in the, in the chair, in the truck, and that's when he went to the bathroom. He couldn't control himself. Are you serious? Then he shouldn't have been, I'm dead serious. I mean, he shouldn't have been driving. He should have went on and, and retired and, and, and so, stayed at home. So wait, 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 wait. We we talking about a number one and two in the seat? Oh, not the two, just the one. Oh, just, just the one. The but one. It, it was so bad. Yeah, just How could you? It, it, it was just, uh, okay, you know what? Know. I'm listen. I'm a truck driver. I'm not gonna lie. No cap. You know, I got the bottle and all like that. You know, I went. You yeah. know, I went on Amazon and I got the little contraption that you know, did, you know, put it up there. But I'm still driving and I can relieve myself. No cap, right. y'all. They, you know, truck drivers' lives. Get used to it. But I'm what I'm what I'm saying is, is that. I I I got the bottle. I I got the dispensary right here. You saying mm-hmm. you saying, dude? Just he wouldn't just try. Number, he wouldn't even try to. So just number one in the seat. How can you sit in the seat so <laughs> like that, bro? It was so. It would be. It would be so. Yes, they had to strip that seat down, uh, take it out, replace the seat. Yeah, it, but it was. Say, it was really really bad. But you say he had a condition. So so, yeah, he had a medical condition. Okay, clearly, so, if you can't control yourself like that, you, you got a condition. Yeah. Okay, so I, if you got a condition, bro, then yeah. But for people that don't have a condition, y'all some nasty people. And they're doing man. it on purpose, nasty. Yeah, and they do stuff deliberately. They would literally, deliberately be mad at the company and leave stuff in there that they shouldn't have left. Man, you listen, know the I, bottles and bottles and bottles of urine. Man, you know the dirty underwear. Just pour salt inside of the cabinet, and it's just so much you can't. Ugh. You got to rip this, 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 this constant. There's stuff in the refrigerator that just molded, and you can't even get in there because it stinks so bad. You know they got to replace the refrigerator. This, this constant. I, you, you know what? I mean, just listening to you is just making my stomach turn, man. Hey, it made mine. I will have to be, have a have a mask on. Ooh. You know, you see dead roaches. You got it. I mean, all kinds of live roaches, Carmen. maggots. Carmen, Carmen, I'm sorry. Carmen, <laughs> Carmen, you mean to tell me that you literally had to clean out these trucks that got that that got maggots, bugs, roaches, yeah. all this type of shit? Yeah. And how the fuck does a truck manifest roaches? Like, I, I guess they brought them from their home. I guess you, if you've got a bag and you got them in your, in your bag and you brought them from home and you brought them and go into your truck and... Or you leaving so much food around. Yeah, you you up against a tree or something and they they crawl up in there. Yeah. Ants. The whole nine. Yeah. I'm scratching over here, man. Yeah. Okay. It is bad. Look, Carmen, tell me. <laughs> I mean I man, this is <laughs> it's crazy that Who you mind? Uh, it, it's crazy that companies you know allow that yeah but let me tell you something let me let me tell you guys a secret because see this this is this this is a secret that you're only going to hear here on the lockout man podcast show you're going to drive somebody else's truck that truck ain't going to be brand new i'm just saying (laughs) (laughs) i'm just saying and and here's 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 carmen a clean you know the cleanup person She's here to tell you that that truck that you're driving was was atrocious. But when yeah. you come into the when you come into orientation, they'd be like, oh, yeah, we give you a clean truck, a 2017 and mm-hmm. all like that. But not knowing that that truck was that had by had by somebody else that wasn't that wasn't clean. Just saying. Mm-hmm. 
car. Yeah, I put my elbows in and, and clean it out. Yes, sir. Now, without even getting into, you know, not getting into your finances or anything like that, but is is cleaning out a truck is on a case by case basis based on how you yes. price it? Yes. So, and for those, you get the pricing very, very good. Yeah. So, ball, just give me a ballpark of the uh, of the truck that you have to use the hazmat suit on. Three hundred. That's it. Yeah. Well, three hundred because I had to do it multiple times. I had to do it more than once. So this is a double win. Do you? I don't know. I I don't know. That's that's a good huh? that that's a good price. But do you mm-hmm. think do you think you could have charged more though? I probably could have. Yeah, because that was really really bad. I mean, you did it once. It takes you a couple of hours, and you got to go back over and do it again. You know, so. Oh man, it was it was a lot of a lot of a lot put into that. Now, since you know when you was putting your plan together to uh, mm-hmm. to to do. Uh, you know, the cleaning service and everything like that. Do you just limit it to the uh, semis or do you, or do you open it up to other, uh, other things like maybe uh, of other vehicles like cars or maybe offices and stuff like that? Or offices, just- yes. Car- no, offices, yes. Cars I hadn't quite done yet because, you know, you can't make too much money to put in a car, but um, offices definitely. That's another avenue that I've taken as well. Okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. So again, you just went and got your. Uh, how, how did you do it? You you just got your LLC and or you just I got just, your. I I got my sole proprietor at first, and then I went and got my LLC. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. And yeah. you say your you said your fiance. It, it was he your fiance at the time, or he's your fi- fiance currently? He was at the time. He was oh, okay. So at the time, he he was the one that kind of like got you in the door of doing yes. of doing the semis. Yes. Yes. All right, and then from there, you was able to make other contracts with with other trucking companies. So the trucking companies with um, owner operators as well. I did a lot of that, uh, or do a lot of that. They one one word of mouth. Everybody's going to you know, hey, get this look good. Somebody, you get this with somebody else. Like, you make mine look like that. Yeah, you deep clean it. And, you know, get it COVID standard and stuff like that. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. All right. So all right. So do you say, for example, like now you 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 you're promoting your business, especially in the C Chuck and Trucking Group. But do you go like do you, do you go like to like the truck stops? And being that you're in Atlanta, you know Georgia, I'm sure you're familiar with the petrol over there off of 285. Oh yes, oh yes, sir. So do you do you go over there and 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 uh, and and shop your yeah. shop your business there? I do, I do. A lot of some of them don't want you to. They don't want you to list it like that. You guys leave a card. They don't want you to go up to the trucks and you know literally talk to people. But you know. Some of them they don't mind, so yeah, I do. So yeah, word of mouth is always be- word of mouth is always, always better, you know. But, yes, sir. But you always get these you you always get these kind of characters. Like, well, I'm I'm a character too. I mean, if a brother man come up to me and be like, "Yo, man, you know, I can uh watch you know do your thing for like fifty dollars," and I'd be like, "Yo, bro, can yeah. you?" I'd be like, "Yo, bro, can you do it for ten? <laughs> you do, do you get you you get characters like that i mean you you yeah. I, i'm gonna assume you stand firm on on your price that, i do and I, my, my prices are on the back of my card so here you just look over and you see this is what it is but uh, okay. you see a female walk up to your truck you ain't gonna you ain't gonna hardly say that you know she Okay. <laughs> now see now now you know hopefully I'm I'm listen don't 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 go up in there with no high heels and 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 the halter oh, no. tops man because no, they're gonna they, no, they gonna, gonna they automatically gonna think that you uh, oh oh okay you mm-hmm. no nah, I'm a businesswoman I'm here to clean the truck mm-hmm. bro come on now <laughs> I'm I'm no, not I here to clean I'm not here to clean no pipes I'm here to clean the truck you want the truck clean we can talk other than that keep it moving bro. Exactly. You can no. keep. You can no, keep. Your, you can keep your forty. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can keep your forty. 
<laughs> no, I have a little uniform I wear. No, I'm I'm, I'm strict for business. It's none of that. I'm right. trying to be cute. All right, that's what's up. Have you uh now I know how how long have you been doing how long have you been doing this? Four years. Four years successful mm-hmm. of co- of course successfully. Yes, sir. Have, going going as we speak. Have you ever thought about uh branching out or franchising franchising your company? Yeah, hey, uh, eventually I will get there. Um I'm still in the stages of, like I just said, I just broke out into the commercial where I'm doing the cleaning the office buildings and things like that. So mm-hmm. I, and now I got a team with me. So it's, yes, yeah, I'm branching out. It's, it's going to get bigger. Now, now, now that you mentioned that you got a team, how, how do you, how do you get people to come on to see your vision? Because it's hard. Being, being that it's you're, hard. you know, you're an entrepreneur and you're, you know, you're a small business owner. You, you, you know, of course, you can't be like, you know, I, I can bring you on with X amount of dollars and all like that. This, I got to bring you on with this because I got to make the money. I got, I got to see a, a a little bit of profit, and then I can only give you so much of that profit. How how hard it, is it to to, to get somebody ext- to understand? It's that? extremely hard. I've went through a lot of different people. Brands aren't the best to hire because they see what you got and they want to get it and they go behind your back and do some shady things. Mm-hmm. So it's been real, real hard. I have to really find some people I can trust. Um, and then they see that you are to, you know, become successful and they, you know, they want to get on that and, 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 and bring it up for themselves as well. So you just have to find good people. You know, it's not always decent people out there, but there are some out there. So. It was very, very hard. And I'm just now getting to the point that I got a good team and I can trust them. You know, that's what's up. Because I've had some bad, bad people to come my way. So. Have you yeah. uh, ha, have you had any have you had any person that you will probably send out to you know to clean the truck or something like that, and you know they they fingers get a little bit sticky. Have you ever came across of a, of of employees like that? I'm not quite taking anything, no. Uh-uh. Okay. Just trying to take what I got, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I gotta watch my own pockets, and you over here trying to yeah, stick I gotta your hand, over, yeah. trying to stick your hand yeah. further into it, man. Deeper Get into out. my pocket. You yeah, know, right? yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. all right. So let the people know uh, how they can get a hold of you, Carmen. Um. Well, it is Carmen's Planning Crew. And my number is 404-980-8731. And you also can reach, reach out to me. My email is cbanks, T-R-U-E, at gmail.com. All right. Do you have some type of social media like like Facebook, uh, Instagram, I do. Um, and I, I just started my Facebook, and I haven't gotten it completely up in where it needs to be, but I am definitely working on it, and that will be up very, very soon, as soon as maybe within the next week or so. Um, and I will reach out to you and let you know it's up and running, and uh, we can get it moving from there. All right, drivers, so here you go, man. If y'all in the, uh, what what area of Georgia? Atlanta, Atlanta area. And if you're metro in, Atlanta. If you're in the metro Atlanta area, you know, Georgia. Hey, Georgia. I am mobile, and I will come out to you wherever you are. Well, there you have it. She'll come to you, and if you over at the over at the over at the Petro, you know where you can get everything. <laughs> now you can get your you can get your truck cleaned in and out, no, in and out, or just just the detail. Um, just go in and out, yeah, in and out, yes, sir. In and detail out, and inside and out. Yep. All right, all right. She will come to you over to the Petro. Get your truck clean and all like that for a reasonable price, man. Make sure you guys yes, reach sir. out to Carmen, uh, Carmen Cleaning Crew. Carmen, thank you very much for coming on to the thank show. You for I really having appreciate me. it. Not a problem. I enjoy. I definitely enjoyed the conversation, especially when you said yes, the, about the about the cleaning. Which, woo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo. <laughs> Ooh, man, thanks for having me you're very <laughs> welcome ma'am you take it easy you have a good night and we will chop it up again soon all right thank you bye-bye all right later <laughs> <laughs>